Hello folks, the old sergeant here, and I have a little story to tell. It's Christmas Eve, 1979, Republic of Korea. It was dark and cold on the flight line. I was all bundled up in my parka and layers of clothing. I was alone with nothing but the lights in each revetment to keep me company. I walked with my toolbox by the revetments all lined up on either side of a taxiway. The revetments were big half shells of cement and steel designed to protect the aircraft from attack. Each one contained an F-4E Phantom fighter. The fighters were painted in various shades of olive drab in a camouflage pattern, save for the nose that was painted with large black eyes, white teeth, and red blood in the mouth of a shark. On the back of the revetment was a fence separating the restricted aircraft areas and the rest of the base. Soon I found the revetment containing the fighter I needed to work on. I climbed up on the left wing and opened a panel on the fuselage. It was Christmas Eve and I was on the other side of the planet from my South Dakota home. It was cold and the wind whistled through the half-shell buildings. I started working on the broken wires, frequently blowing on my hands to keep them warm. Their work was too delicate to do with gloves on. I didn't feel sorry for myself, though it would have been nice to have some company. There were many places, warm places, I would have rather been. As I worked, I began to hear singing. Familiar music, but the words were in Korean. I climbed off the aircraft and followed the singing to behind the revetment. I went through an opening and found myself standing next to the fence. On the other side of the fence, lined up facing me, there were about ten Korean children and a couple of adults. The children were singing, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, in Korean. As I stood there, they then sang Silent Night, and I joined in. After the songs, one of the adults came up and said, Merry Christmas, Sergeant. We saw you out here by yourself, so the children wanted to sing to you, so we stopped the bus. This is about as much as I could take. As tears started rolling down my face. All this, just for me, I asked quietly. Yes, Sergeant, the children know you are far from home to protect them, so they wanted to give you their song. I kneeled down to the level of the children and said, Thank you. Kamsamida, Kamsamida, over and over to each one individually. The children started talking back as they waved and headed back to the bus. They shouted things in Korea I didn't understand. The men looked at me and said, they are saying, thank you, freedom soldier. I thanked him again as he left to join the children. The children and I waved at each other as they drove away. I walked back to the aircraft and climbed the wing and got back to work. What a wonderful gift, I thought. Freedom soldier. To those little children, I was a freedom soldier. Made it all worthwhile. Thank you, Lord, for the gift, and happy birthday. It was cold and dark and quiet as I worked on the fighter. I didn't notice, for I was lit up with warmth and happiness. To some Korean children, I was their freedom soldier. Seeing myself through their eyes was a gift to last a lifetime. Merry Christmas, everybody.